love to introduce to you today the brand new model from the Jeep lineup, and that is the Grand Cherokee L. L being the vehicle is a little bit longer because we can now offer seven seat capacity in the Grand Cherokee lineup. Six seats as well with the option of the captain chairs, but once we dive inside the vehicle, we'll show you that. Talking about diving inside the vehicle, today's video is designed or laid out so we can show you a couple of the nice hot features that we have on this vehicle. And obviously, we implore you to do some more research of which you can start on GrandPrixChrysler.com, that's GPChrysler.com, of which then you can start an inquiry with us or even a live chat. We are real people behind the screen. But anyway, let's get started on this. Let's start on the front portion. So as you can see, the striking redesign of the Grand Cherokee. We have this falling nose over the front of which it gives it more of the old school Wagoneer style with that shark fin dive in front of the nose. Obviously, the design looks good, but it's there as a functional feature too. It's allowing the air to move cleaner over the top of the vehicle. The engine is moved slightly back to allow for better fuel economy, better comfort, better driving overall. Continually staying here at the front, a couple of things to point out. One, tow hooks. That's always a big thing, a big here in Alberta too. And we have the 360 degree camera that we have here that's partnered with the park assist at the front. Fantastic, with that diving nose, it's hard to see over the front of the vehicle. So when you do have something in front, the system is gonna allow you to know that there is something there to watch out for. Moving a little bit further back here, I wanted to touch on something here in regards to the windshield. So if you see on the top of the windshield, we have what looks like a triangle cutout. There is a camera and a sensor in there because this vehicle is equipped with adaptive cruise control. For those that are unknown to adaptive cruise control, it's where the vehicle becomes autonomous, matching the speed that you set and using all its available sensors and cameras to keep an eye on what's on the road in front of you. So if there is a vehicle in front of you, it will match at the safe distance that you set until you hit the passing lane of which then it will continue at the speed that you had set previous. So not fully autonomous, but still it makes the ease of driving on those long journeys just that little bit better all in all. Staying on the side of the vehicle that we have here, touching on this wheel, not only do we have a fantastic striking new design in regards to what Jeep had brought out for the Grand Cherokee L, but there's something secret that hides behind there and that's called a virtual bull joint. What that basically means in very layman's terms in the sense that if the vehicle is stationary like this, the angle of the ball joint is at one of which the handling is at a premium. As soon as the vehicle stops driving, the ball joint sits back and then the vehicle rides like it is. It gives you that limousine glide feel. So that is how Jeep has managed to keep nimbleness for parking, especially on alongside roads or in parkades, but at the same time gives you that luxurious glide when you're going down the road. Continuing back, talking about luxurious, we have these wonderful body lines that stretch from front to back of the vehicle. And one of my favorites is this chrome bezel. And the reason I like it so much is they've kept this chrome bezel going all the way around the vehicle. So even when the vehicle isn't in motion, it looks like it's in motion. Such a striking design. Let's continue our way back, looking onto the back end portion of the vehicle. Again, design, 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 that all seems to scream from this vehicle in regards to its looks and how it sits. As you can see, we've got the wonderful L badging here. This vehicle in particular, it is the Overland trim level. And talking of trim levels and safety features, the list of standard features that in these vehicles, no matter what trim level you go to, is astronomical. In the sense of cross path detection, pedestrian detection, you name it, it's got it. So, having a look back here, we can see we have two rear view cameras that are partnered up and one below. That is all partnered alongside with the 360 degree camera view. Continuing back here, we have a, have a tow hitch, but it's just hidden a little bit underneath here for those that are looking. And we'll have a quick look at the trunk space before we dive inside the vehicle. So, with most seven seaters, a lot of people are always concerned about the trunk space, but you still have ample trunk space in the back of this vehicle while carrying a full cargo of human beings. Having a look though, underneath here, there's a little trick that Jeep did in the sense of the spare tire. So we have a spare tire underneath the vehicle, but as you can see, there is a nut down there. And what that nut is for is that you take a ratchet and you put it on and you lower the tire. So it makes it a lot easier when you're changing that spare tire on the side of the road to take it off. I'm not sure if many of you have done that, but it is a hassle and that makes it just a little bit easier. Now that we have the tailgate open, let's jump inside the vehicle and talk about some of the nice little features that we have there. So here we have the interior of the Grand Cherokee L. And obviously there are a couple of big standout features that really pop. 
the one being the center screen. And talking about the center screen, we have actually we have three 10 inch screens of which we'll come into a little bit later on in the video. So looking at this, we have a beautiful standard dash that goes all the way. We have open pore wood, as this is called, which really pops when you're sat in front of the vehicle. We also have it embezzled here in the steering wheel. But the whole aspect of the Grand Cherokee L is designed about comfort. It's designed about the user, the driver, and the passengers. Yes, we have this beautiful interior, but is it functional? And yes, it is. In the sense of the driving position of how the new wheel is designed, it's so comfortable to hold with all the controls just at your fingertips right here. With this beautiful flowing center console with lots of nice little hidden features cubby holes where you have your electronical ports in the sense of USB-C and the normal USB and we still have 12 volt as well for those sensors and stuff that you would like to plug in. Moving down we have the nice dial shifter. The nice thing about this is it gets rid of the column shifter or the big bulky shifter in the middle which just gives a lot more space and utility within the vehicle. Over the right hand side here we have your quadra track lift. So this is to do with the air suspension within the vehicle. So on entry right now, which is at its lowest setting, it makes it nice and easy for exit and entry in the vehicle. As the vehicle starts to drive, it lifts up, but also will drop down depending on the speed that you're traveling. Again, to do with aerodynamics and saving you on fuel economy. We have our nice little drinks cupboard, nice and hidden in here. We have a nice deep sensor console that disappears down here. But as you can see also, we, even though with the length of the vehicle, we have this wonderful sunroof that we can look at. We have Uconnect 5 that's connected into the system. So with that, let's take a quick look at the Uconnect 5 because there's a couple of things in here that really help, especially if you've got kids in the back seat. So quick introduction into the brand new Uconnect system that we have from Chrysler. So taking a look at the system right away, not going to show you everything because this would be a very long video if we did. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things. One, obviously, the big one being media. Everybody loves the music when they're driving. So this system within the Overland is, has the optional Macintosh sound system where 19 speakers are housed somewhere in this vehicle. I couldn't tell you exactly where it is, but it sounds absolutely fantastic. So for those long drives, it's really going to keep you entertained. So obviously we have navigation but at the same time we have the ability of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto but the nice thing about this is that with in this new feature of Uconnect 5 Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is now wireless long gone you need to plug in that phone you can just put it in it'll bring up the Apple Auto or the, um, the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay onto your screen here making it so much easier again user utility is an absolute premium with this in vehicle going on to the section here within the app section Again, luxurious, premium feel, but if you really want to jazz it up and have a good time, you can change the colors of the accent lighting within the vehicle, so you can really customize it to who you are as an individual in person. Going back up into the apps, because if you remember in this other side, and before we cut to this shot, I was talking about something that this feature has, or this vehicle has as a feature of which you can check on with the kids in the back seat. So if you scroll down, we are looking for this app here, which is called Family Cam. If we click on that, you can see our wonderful Shauna is filming in the back seat there. But this allows you to keep an eye on the kids, of which a zoom feature as well. You can choose which seat you'd like to zoom into to check it out by just checking on the screen and having a look like so. It means you can keep an eye on those kids to make sure they're not causing too much trouble so your eyes can still be potentially facing forward rather than looking back. Talking of the kids, there's something else in the back seat here that I think we should show you guys that is a, almost gets overlooked in every other make and model, but in Jeep, they nailed it. And it's super simple. Let's have a look. So, quick jump in the back seat here. As you can see, I mean, I'm not the tallest guy in the room, but I'm still pretty lengthy and I have so much space in the back here. And I'll jump in the back seat and show you that too, just how much space you still have sitting in the very back. But talking of the back and hitting this, as I'm sure you can all hear, it's plastic. And that's what I was talking about. Something so simple, so easy, but when the kids are sat in the back seat and they're kicking up here, rather than scuffing up your leather, this whole back seat is plastic. Much easier to keep clean. At the same time, we have individual climate control in the back seat, as well as your charging ports right here. And then obviously you have your 12, your plug-in right there. So, Ones with those, because obviously this is aimed at the family market, but if you're traveling with a small child in this seat and you need somebody to get in the back seat, well, again, 
Jeep sort of it too. And this is it. Yes, we have the feature to drop the seat forward too, but a grab of this back handle and the whole seat stays exactly the same shape, which allows you to pull the seat forward, still getting into the back seat. And as you can see, I'm sat in the back seat. I'm comfortable. I still got enough room with my knees right here. And honestly, I prefer sitting back here than I do up there. It's much more comfortable. I'd like to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Again, it wasn't everything that this vehicle has to offer. We'd really like to invite you into the dealership. Come out, come take it for a test drive. Come even take a look, for instance. It really is worth taking the time of day to take a look at this vehicle. Any more inquiries, any more information you require, please check our website, that's gpchrysler.com. We have a live chat service on there, so if you'd like to talk to us, we are real people behind the screen, please initiate that chat and we will be more than happy to help. Again, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to have a look at this wonderful vehicle. Have a wonderful day.